I'll be showing you step by step how you can issue refunds on your Shopify store for your customers. This will be a quick video here, but if you enjoy it, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. So let's dive right into it here. So from your Shopify dashboard, in order to refund a customer, you first wanna select the order that you're planning to refund. So the way you get there is on the left-hand side, go to orders here, and then you can select which order you want to refund. Let's say, for example, I wanna select this order here, 1004. I'll click into this order here. It will then open up the order page for this specific order. Quite a bit of information on here, but what we wanna pay attention to is the refund section on the top. There should be this text here saying refund. If you hover over it, it should look like a button. So to issue your refund, you just click on this button here and it's gonna open up a new page. This is the refund page here. You can see the items that are here, the items in the order, the reason for the refund. This is only for you and other staff. The customer is not gonna see this reason. So there are multiple ways in which you can refund. Let's say I just wanna refund the product here. I can make this one by clicking on it and it's gonna put the total refund amount here. I can also say if I wanna restock this item in my Shopify inventory. Let's put this back down to zero. The second way you can do this is by updating the refund amount manually. Let's say something went wrong and you want to offer them 10% or 20% off their existing purchase. Or let's say it's just a flat $5 here. You can put that amount manually in here and hit refund $5. You can also check if you want to send a notification to the customer on the refund that's been issued. A few things to note about refunds is they can only be sent by the original payment method. And if you're using Shopify payments, the amount is going to be deducted from your next available payout. And in most cases, the refund is labeled as pending for up to two business days, and they can take up to 10 business days for your customer to receive the refunded amount. Something as well to notice about refunds is that credit card transaction fees are not returned to you when a refund is issued. Let's say you fully refund an order. That is important to note here as a fully refunded order will actually cost you the transaction fee. Although this will depend on the gateway used for your store. I'm gonna take a moment to mention our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get detailed profit calculations and analytics so you can really understand your store's performance, allowing you to make better business decisions. It's gonna give you tons of charts and analytics, including seamless syncing with all your ad platforms such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, TikTok, Bing, and Pinterest. It's gonna work nicely with different costs of goods sold options and sync in those transaction fees. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching for Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. So this is gonna conclude the video on how to issue refunds in your Shopify store. Hopefully that was a clear video so you have a good understanding now. Also with the other things such as the transaction fees not being refunded. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll see you in our next video.